450. What do you think? I sound just like your average Highlander shopkeeper, right? You're a natural. Uh, I know, right? My kid's sister taught me. He's traveled all over the place. Yeah. I can teach you some Gerudo if you want. My products have a price, but my Gerudo lessons are free. Uh, I'd be happy to. Let's then let's start with greetings. What's the nighttime greeting in Gerudo? I don't know. You didn't teach me nothing. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. I had a feeling you'd get that one. Actually, Savo is also correct. But you mostly hear that from younger Gerudo. As a businesswoman, I tried to keep my language strictly professional. The ba part is pronounced by biting your lip as you say it. Ba. Ba. Mm -hmm. So... Think you've got it figured out? Ah. <laughs> eh? That caught your eye, huh? I knew it! <clears throat> it's a must-have for any fashionable bow that is trying to live that hot desert life. <laughs> the headband is the last one I have, you know? If you buy it, I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. <laughs> that can be all yours, the low price of 450 rupees. What if I say now? Ah. I completely understand. It's part of the run in front of shopping to go back and forth on a purchase. <laughs> Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. <laughs> the headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Bow series. There's also a... Spalvaler and trousers? Well, you have to go to the special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. No. Oh, now I think about it. Mo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Oh, so we're gonna have to go through that crap again? I mean, it makes sense. What is that? The chest? Saba. Saba. I mean, Sava Saba. 
That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using playing on duty. My mentor was entrusted has entrusted me with an, decorating a weapon in a stylish way. He told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters too, so that means monster parts are off limit. Uh. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help a lot. Sounds like she needs a lightning weapon. We don't have that. What is going on here? That's sand. I have a bad feeling about this thing. I don't know why, but I do. think the stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. Oh, it's too far up. Um, Alright, we have some heat resistance now. Oh, before we do that, we need to go that tower. Try to get the tower and then we'll try to find what was it? Speckled rock? And then we'll see if we can't get into Gerudo Town somehow. Right. Tower is that way. Okay. An elevator? It is. Was this over here? As you can see, my husband is too sick to move. I am caring for him here. This is my fault. I wanted the two of us to have a wedding adventure. That was n now proved to be unwise. He was a weak constitution by nature. Once before, he collapsed from illness. A kind traveler helped me treat him then. I have since pushed myself to know the ways of medicine. It was only a matter of time before he would need more help. The return of my husband's illness is my fault, but I know what it will take to heal him this time. <laughs> a medicine made from Glico guts. Hmm. A Glico is a horrible creature that flaps across the sky using huge wings. I know there's one that flies over Gerudo Canyon, but attacking it would be difficult. 
I will need to repair somehow. I'm not going after a Glico yet. All that cave and I do want to investigate it but I want to get to the tower first if we can Looks like I, I think there was a shrine over there, too. <laughs> I must have hit B by accident. Canyon Sky View. Alright, what do I have to do to get into this one? Nothing? Well, that's unexpected. Is there no power to it? <laughs> well, that's probably the case. Where do I get power from? out to see the skyview tower i hate to break it to you but the skyview tower is out of order ah. i'm here to fix it but unfortunately the elevator is broken too i can't get up to the tower to make the repairs oh. do you see the metal bit up there there used to be a platform attached to that if you added enough weight it'd go down and I go up, but the platform is gone. 
there's nothing attached to that metal bit, so I'm stuck down here. I obviously can't fix the Skyview Tower. Wish I knew some way to get up to the top. Am I really going to have to? No, I can just do this. Fix it right or just make it work. Make it work. Oh, not enough weight. I've gone up. Oh, Walson, Walson, are you the one who got the elevator working? You're amazing. I'll get to work fixing the sky view tower right away. Okay. So ah. I only had to fix the elevator. Uh oh, the drive assembly mechanism is stuck. Probably from all the hot, hot hours of the day here. But if I swap out those parts for heat resistant ones, yes, it worked. Ah! Thanks to you, I could fix the Skyview Tower. Please take this for your trouble. Hilly steamed mushrooms. Ah! If you're heading to the to the desert, make sure you protect your, yourself from the heat. It can get dangerous out ah. there. Sometimes there's just no avoiding the heat. When that happens, a meal that'll cool you down should make come in handy. Time to go flying. The maze shows up on the sky map, too. Thank you. 
Dude said... Okay. Dragon's Exile. Southern Oasis. Paul... Vesper, Champion's Gate. Suspected Rock. Not part of Gerudo? Oh, it's right there. Zico? Standing on the speckled rock? Oh, uh, this is not water. This is R, maybe? This is not speckled. Trying to get something I knew I could break stuff with. Alright, do we try to defeat the Talus? away from everything.
which one of these things was ta the talents? No! Wait a second. That's how we got crushed. Yeah. I don't know if we have enough weapons to take this thing out. I didn't even realize that we were taking damage from that. I think the speckle rock is over here, which is not great. Wait, I pulled my camera out. Will it tell me? Plainly go, but it's not telling me if that's affected rock.
I mean, this is a rock and it's speckled. I don't think that's right either. It's got speckled rock right here. So what is speckled rock? It's not over there. Or at least it's not marking it over there, which is where I assumed it would mark it if that was it. I mean, those rocks are special, or um, speckled, but there's so many of them around. Why would that one be named and be something particular? And now we're... Walking further away... From where it says speckled rock is. Wait, that speckled rock? No. What is it focusing on? Is it focusing on my weapon? It is. What is that? Just another rock. Alright. Let's head for Gerudo proper. Gerudo village. That's the, I bet that's the problem. Oh, well, we'll, uh, try again later. Why do y'all have a metal sphere? Ha <laughs> ha
Get a load of this orb. Seems really old and really expensive, don't you think? I hear there's someone in Karuru Town who's investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Good luck. The air has become very hot. You'll be... Okay. Okay. So our heat resistance is not good enough. We can give that to that, that girl. Maybe. This chasm. Can't really tell. Desert Rift. Rudo Town. Rudo Desert. It is no good getting the tower first when our map is useless here. It might be a chasm. weapon had no effect.
This is the one I wanted. Sky view. Speckled rock. We got a fairy. Come on. Well, that sucks. Didn't realize I couldn't use my camera. <clears throat> Still don't know what what speckled rock and what's not. We've got a glider, but we don't have a control module for it.
No! Oh, I'm in the sky. Like, what, what, what happened to my map? Alright, I'm gonna attempt this one more time. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that without making it dip. And then launch ourselves from the Skyview Tower and try to glide to Gerudo. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, hello. Always nice to meet a fellow wanderer out, out here. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a painter. I travel from place to place looking for scenery to inspire me. Lately, I've especially taken with the floating islands that have just appeared in the sky. I've painted many landscapes in my life, but the tiny islands floating in the distance may be the most mysterious of all. Who put the strange little islands up there? Fascinating shape. Easy to paint, too. You should go see it for yourself once the weather clears up a little.
guys eat fried wild greens. All right, I think that's all we've got. So. Is going to be enough. I don't summon the shrine. There's not a shrine outside of it now, it's inside. That sucks. I don't know if I can make that. I can't. There's no way. the sand seal things. Is it deserted? that was a Gerudo. Maybe it is. Uh, another voice. Wait, what? You're just another real living person. I was certain one of the ghosts haunting this place had come for me. I traveled out here hoping to meet the wonderful, amazing Gerudo women who lived here, but there's no one. I do something, sometimes hear voices coming up from the wells. Oh. Obviously, the place is now haunted by the restless spirits of beautiful Gerudo who were slain by the strange monsters. If I'm not careful, the same monsters might get me, get me too. Yeah, um, I bet they went underground. 